Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I'm back with another figure review, and you can't even see this because of the glares from my lighting, but we're gonna be taking a look at the Toys R Us exclusive Hero Clicks Batman Exter Extreme Hero Clicks. I, I don't own any Hero Clicks. Uh, anything Hero Clicks, but this was at Toys R Us uh, when I saw the seven-inch exclusive NECA figures. These were alongside with them, with the you know, with the DVD in the DVD section. Um, so it says DC Collectibles up top in the sticker right over here. Got an image of Batman. This is obviously based off of the new Batman, the new Fifty Two. Got a Batman logo in the back of the card there. Right over here, you have an image right there of Batman from the new Fifty Two, which I think was uh, the Dark Knight issue. I if I'm correct. Uh, right over here, there is a read-up, which is, I mean, everybody knows Batman's history. Superman is also available. I didn't see it. It says, play local, win big. I know nothing of Hero Clicks. If you guys want to school me, school me, feel free to comment down below. There is a read-up right here, so feel free to pause right there, and you can read the description in the back of this box. On this side, we have another image of Batman. The top, it just reads that there. At the bottom, there's um, it says uh, WB. Oh, it has NECA on here too. So is this a NECA product? I don't know. I mean, it's Hero Clicks, NECA. It, I really don't know um, who makes this. I thought Hero Clicks was, uh, was uh, these little figures. I could be wrong. I really don't know anything about Hero Clicks. But it has NECA on the bottom of there. Maybe they teamed up for this. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below if you guys know. But let's go ahead and take this figure out of the right, pack. Guys, so here's a quick little 360 look at the Hero Clicks Batman figure. It's actually pretty much just like a statue. But um, this is it right here. A quick little 360 look. Let's take a closer detailed look at Batman. So Batman comes with this card. Again, guys, I have no idea what this Hero Click stuff is. The only reason why I picked this up is because it's Batman. I saw it at Toys R Us and I wanted to get it. So you get this right here. No idea what any of this means. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. So there's that card. Um, I just dropped it and here's the back side of the card as well. You can see some of the, uh, the descriptions and everything on here. So no idea what it means. Let me know in the comments below. So here is Batman. It doesn't look too bad, I guess. I mean, uh, the head looks a little bit too large. If I don't know, or maybe it's just that lining that's going across the um, the cowl there. It just looks a little bit weird. Uh, the whole head sculpt looks a little bit off to me. And I think it really is this top part right here. He just has a big forehead. But you can see that you can make out the ears and the costume. And then here's a close up on the uh, the head sculpt. Now one thing I want to show you guys is the base. So he, he does come in this base. This figure has no articulation whatsoever and he has this little um, thing right here at the bottom that you can twist and it has little uh, it says KO, KO on here and his little descriptions. No idea what they are but you can twist it around. It's got like numbers. Again I'm pretty sure this is like a like a card game or something. I have no idea but you get that right there and then there's the bottom of the base here. And the Batman, the cape, it's got a lot of little like uh, details on there, you know, as far as like the wrinkles and everything. And the bottom of it, the whole thing is pretty much a rubber material, so you can, you, you know, you can push this back a little bit. Uh, the arms and everything do not have articulation. I like the back of the um, the cowl right here. The neck area has some really cool little detailing right there, which I think is dope. And the suit, again, the suit is based off of the new 52 Batman design, where it has all that like texturing throughout the um, the whole suit, all that lining and stuff. You have the gloves right here with the gauntlets, all that little great detail on it. And uh, it is a little bit sharp, which is pretty cool. And here is his utility belt. You can see that right there. Doesn't look too bad at all. Focus in on it. Looks pretty good. And the legs right here. All the cool detailing in the boots. Again, he's got a lot of uh, um, little details in the boots you can see right here some of the little stuff they sculpted in so it's not too bad right there on the on the back of the the base you have this is Batman you have the Batman logo there but overall I mean I think it's a pretty decent piece again for all the hero clicks fans out there you're definitely gonna want to pick this up me again I only picked it up just because I'm a Batman fan and I wanted to have this piece in my collection. Now let me know what you guys think about this. Also, school me guys on this uh, Hero Clicks Batman or Hero Clicks 
game, whatever it is, because I have no idea what it is. But let me know what you guys think about this figure. Just a quick little review, guys, on this Batman piece. I'm definitely going to put, uh, put this up on my shelf. I think it looks great. It's got a lot of little cool little details on there. The only thing I don't really like too much is the top of the head sculpt right there. Just something really seems off. But other than that, I mean, the sculpting on this is pretty good. It doesn't look too bad at all. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Drop a comment down below, guys. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.